Their journey is one of a kind of uh, an unravelling and a revelation, learning things that they didn't know about themselves um, and then becoming conscious of what they don't know um, and then being really challenged in lots of different ways. So absolutely fundamentally when you come into this course you've got to be open to the idea that you don't know everything. So why am I the way I am now? What's, what's, what's formed that? And then you have to form some sort of idea of how you need to become as a leader. So, so how do I need to change? The things that I've seen people get out of the programme um, are, are very varied and I think it depends on people's um, experience and their motivation for doing the programme. But some examples are an incredible leap in confidence where people realise that supported by the set and challenged by the set that they bring something really unique to the NHS. Try new stuff on for size if you like, so you know, try new ways of working, new behaviours, uh, new beliefs and, and kind of see the impact. The concept of self-managed learning was very difficult for me to get, get my head around it really, but now I realise it's very clever actually, it was very clever of the Leadership Academy to do that because if you're working out there in the real world in the NHS, of course you've got nobody standing over you saying, oh yes, that's the right decision or that's the wrong decision. It's given me that skill to take forward, you know, that I really don't mind if something untoward just happens, I, I can deal with it. The diversity within the set is really important. It mirrors the, the diversity within the NHS, within our staff groups within the NHS, but also about the population that we serve. My overall feeling for the programme is, um, I've been describing it to people as the best thing that I did in 2014. The programme reminded me about why I came into the NHS and why I do the job I do and how I can do it better. We are doing what we're doing to support services, to support patients. It's changed my perspective on a lot of things, how I fit into my organisation. It's given me a framework to assess my organisation against. So now I can start to say, critically, this is where we should be putting more effort, or this is, this is where we actually are quite exemplary. I feel I've developed the art of having that difficult conversation, but I've been able to do it in a safe environment, so I can constructively challenge people. If I think they're moving in a direction which isn't going to support patients, if I feel patients are not going to be heard, I can really find space and time now to work with the senior manager to speak to them on a one-to-one -one basis and to address it. The key thing for me has been what the course has taught me about myself. It's almost given me license to go and ask questions. Nybed and Craven has actually changed my life. Mm -hmm.